I give to you His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please have your seat. Please be seated. The former governor of Niger State. The first word is congratulations. I can equally pray to God to bless you. And the country will not disappoint you. Uh, the prosperity of our nation is here to kiss it. Our capacity to do things the way it ought to be done. That is the leadership that we expected of all subnational government. Thank you for showing the way. All other executive governors here present, starting from the chairman of the governor's role. My governor, Babajide Sumulu, uh, the man who annexed the population of everybody, and governor Ali of Benue, he said the fact basket with the food is getting dwindling. I don't know what to say to that, but fill it up. We are with you. <laughs> Governor Dudu, thank you very much for being very assertive and ready to contribute to members of the National Assembly here present, for my governor, all of my friends here, distinguished senators, the Honorable Minister for Agriculture, the man in charge of the food security of the nation, and who has been working tirelessly to make sure that this dream is realizable. The determination is achievable. Thank you. And with your partnership with the Honorable Minister of State, I say thank both of you for very good collaboration. No, your Minister of State is, uh, is at home. Uh, well done. The other ministers here present, member of Niger State Executive Council, and legislatures, the judicial arms of, na of uh, government, the senior government officials of Niger and federal government, don't let me offend the party, our party faithful is uh, present, all the royal fathers particularly particularly the chairman of the council I say thank you very much it's always been there for us it's to be for years, 
He's been a great counselor, a great advisor, and a friend. Thank you for what you are doing. Emma of Bogu, Emma of Kotangura, and all the other Emirates are present. May Bogu, where? I still bear my allegiance. <laughs> Thank you very much. All religious leaders, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very important day. I had Dogara, former speaker, talking about what we must do to join the club of farmers. And how do we feed our people? I use the economic opportunity to mitigate and correct the problem of violence, attacks, cattle rustling, and all of that. We are going to organize. Give me two, three weeks. It will be part of the inauguration of the livestock change in Nigeria. We've seen the level of commitment here from the state level. We've seen leadership and the success story of any leader. We depend on the ability to do what they ought to do at the time it ought to be done. It is that time now for Nigeria to change the China the, the challenge and make it an econ economic opportunity. We must care for people, we must rearrange our farming population including livestock program. I don't see why Nigeria cannot feed all the pupils in our school with one pint of milk in a day. If our dairy system is well and not harnessed, I'm glad Abraman Abrasak, the governor of Kwara State, is here. He's equally an, a farmer and investor. And I am talking to Father earlier to please let us reorganize. I know what it means as an economic sabotage for roaming cows to eat up the crops and vegetation of our land. I know what it is. I know it could be painful. But when we rearrange the harvest and make provision for cattle rearing. You are the governors who must provide the land. Provide us the land. I, as the president, I am committed to giving you in two, three weeks' time a comprehensive program that will solve this problem.
We are in MENA. To commission the agricultural machinery. To enhance the irrigation. To put confirmation and truth to agro processing economic zone that is being approved and to equally partner with you to banish hunger. That's all. You are doing the job. You are walking the talks. And it is necessary for me to support you. It is mandatory as Nigerians when you read paper, some of us are confused whether to abuse the present or the past or make excuses for the future. Not in my dictionary. Take action now. Do your best. Re-engineer the finances of the country and stay out on the right path. Those who may be complaining now, we have to understand only the persevered and consistency can make a nation buoyant. The student loan program will commence. Commence. There will be unemployment benefit for our graduates. The social security program for the elderly and vulnerable will commence. We are fine-tuning all of that area. That's going to relieve people of and if all of you, I'm glad I'm facing Abraman, have been paying the wages award pending the determination of new salary wages. Let all the subnationals start paying that. Let them. The wage award, plus whatever they are taking now, and the wage award will relieve the public. Please, I'm not giving an order. I'm appealing to you, subnationals. Uh, Lagos, are you doing it? You are beating your chest? <laughs> eh? <laughs> I get everybody to do it. It's a relief to the people. They get used to it. Then, the mechanism is the fact that it will not be inflationary. If we announce a new wages, in a few weeks or months. They've gotten used to the basic 30,000 plus the wage award. So it has dampening effect on the market. Please, get some nationals together. <laughs> and next to adopt Adopt this.
We have done the integrated tomato commission on Friday, March 8th, the largest in sub Saharan Africa. And today's grand breaking. The officionary approach and transformation of agricultural benefit plan to distribute 200,000 metric tons of grain by June, clearance of over 1 million hectares of land for cultivation, acquisition of essential machinery to aid farm productivity. with you. Be sure you continue the aggressive strong determination to be number one to feed the nation. Get yourselves together. You can form a food belt. I could see one half of the belt here and the other half of the belt there. Up to Kogi. And whatever you want federal government to do, regardless of irrigation, we win. I commend your effort on the infrastructure development of Niger State. I can guarantee you of the federal support. Flagged of the hope. You deliver the hope. You reassure Nigerians. Thank you very much.